Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore. So this will be a short episode on this beautiful plant and this is the gardenia. Look at how it's glowing and trust me, the smell of this plant is ethereal. I cannot describe in words the feeling that I have right now to possess such a beautiful and fragrant plant. So in today's episode I will tell you on how I took care of this plant and how difficult it is for this plant to flower. It needs a lot of care and uh, a lot of good conditions in which this plant can survive and flourish like this. So you can see that you might mistake this for the bud. This is not the bud, this is actually a leaf. The bud would look something like this. So this hasn't yet opened. So this hasn't yet opened. Uh, so once it opens, it looks like this. And uh, the smell, as in, you just have to move past the plant and you will get the fragrance and it's just, uh, you know, a mixture of rose and jasmine. So it's as fragrant as that. So uh, the care of this gardenia is simple, but you need to make sure that this plant is not uh, disturbed. Uh, so once you get it from the nursery, uh, you just have to uh, pl pl plant it in a container and you should not disturb it. So that is the biggest, uh, you know, biggest uh, reason for failure because we keep disturbing the plant moving it here and there please don't do that I did that with my other gardenias and it uh, it failed so that is one and then it uh, loves uh, shade so uh, keep it do not keep it under full sun uh, because the leaves will burn and do not underwater it because if you underwater it again the leaves will become dry and it will die. Uh, so fertilizer, I have not used any fertilizer. I have not even used uh, any kind of fertilizer. I have just used coffee grounds and that is it. Because the coffee grounds actually make the soil acidic which uh, the gardenia loves. So make sure that you add a lot of coffee grounds and uh, also sprinkle water on the leaves uh, look at the leaves they're so glossy so sprinkle water on the leaves to give it that humid feeling so it loves humidity as well so this is in a west facing uh, veranda of mine so uh, it gets indirect sunlight but uh, uh, it also gets enough amount of sunlight so you have to keep uh, a watch on uh, the sunlight it receives then other than that I have underplanted this with some uh, Indian balsam and some syngoniums which I will remove shortly and I'll, I'll show you what I will do with them so uh, the gardenia is also really helpful in making people go to sleep it has a very soothing effect on uh, the nervous system so it is it is medically proven so uh, if you are lucky enough to grow it indoors especially in your bedroom uh, if you have a French window which is west facing then grow it you can easily grow it indoors but uh, please be careful about the pests and do not let it uh, you know do not uh, do not underwater it so that is it folks probably I will show you how to propagate a gardenia and thank you for watching.